Okay, now I'm just switching to audio because the subtitles here would you wouldn't be able to see it. So anyway, um, the Razer Tartarus Pro comes in with 32 programmable keys. Um, and to reprogram the keys, you need to download the Razer Synapse software. Now, um, I just want to make this really short, a quick review. Overall, the keypad is nice with a few little glitches here and there. Um, I use it a lot for Final Fantasy XIV or any kind of MMO game and for my art shortcuts for both Aesperate and Clip Studio Paint. Now, you can also use it for DaVinci Resolve, but I haven't set it up yet because I just kind of like hate editing. So yeah, um, but yeah, um, the only glitches that the Razer Tartarus Pro has is the fact that it has ghost touches. I've heard of people in other reviews talking about it and it's basically like I'll press a button. It'll, it has only happened in Final Fantasy XIV now with art, but I'll press a button like or the d-pad, the little joystick where your thumb would be, um, and it might just like automatically just keep pressing that button. So like let's say if I press the right button to turn right or move my character to the right, it just keeps doing it like that that kind of thing but you would have to just press it and it'll stop um that i'm pretty sure that could be solved with software um hopefully they're trying to fix that um because it was kind of annoying a few times it has happened like twice within this month that i've had this keypad i've had it for a while um <laughs> i don't really like to do reviews until um i have a feel for the product so yeah, um, I can recommend this. I was torn between this and the tour box, and I ultimately chose this because, like, I can use it for gaming and art, right? With the tour box, I can use it for editing and art, but gaming, not really. I wouldn't really use it for that. But I still might try it later on in the future. So yeah, um, I think it's pretty great. Yeah. Uh, it kind of sucks that the cable on it is not removable, but you know, or that this is not wireless. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Has a scroll wheel, has a little button thingy, has a D pad, has a space bar, has a bunch of keys. Yeah, highly recommend, guys. If you don't have a lot of desk space, or you don't want to use your keyboard, or you have a screen tablet, excuse my chair, <laughs> or you have a screen tablet. It takes up a lot of space and it's really hard for you to use your keyboard. Yeah, I recommend this. Yeah, it's really easy to get used to. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll do a different an art video next time. And yeah, see you guys later. Subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.